take a bishop and play the I gave up a pawn. Knight g4, queen g4 takes, and, and bishop d8. You're just up a pawn. After bishop h2, just takes knight g4, queen g4, and you're just up a pawn. Robert, Robert, oh, yeah. Robert, stay, 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 Hey guys, Brian here, and one of the most thrilling games that we've ever seen on the channel. Oh my goodness, Robert not even hesitating, sacking the piece for two pawns, busting open Hikaru's kingside, and this game was absolutely bananas here, and Hikaru making a blunder here and falls for the uh, fork, but oh my goodness, his speed, his calculation, and his like physical hand speed is, is just bananas man it does not make sense it's like Stewart said at the end of the video violating the laws of physics and heart goes out to Robert he was so close to tasting victory but interfered with the protection of his rook here and oh my goodness so close to taking out Hikaru but alas it was, ends up in a draw and wow just no words to describe how crazy this game was like we were all watching this live and it it looked like he would flag Hikaru, but Hikaru just so damn resilient, man. Wow, just br what a fantastic game between these two, man. One for the ages. Wow, beautifully, beautifully played Robert, keeping his cool, and great comeback by Hikaru. Just Robert, just mm, hardest game to win is one game, man. Even for a great player like Robert, 2,400, 16 years old. He, he is something else, guys. He is special, man. Wow. Ooh, what wow just wow man I, I oh i hope you guys uh enjoyed that as much as we did and we're gonna go over the analysis the line that hikaru kind of mentioned at the end as well as um maybe some lines where uh robert could have put the game away as and and that's gonna be really cool to see so let's get straight to it here and in this position we had King H1, Robert wanting none of this. He figured Hikaru had something up his sleeve, but um, Hikaru mentioned at the end, just take here. And this was a continuation, knight g4 check, queen takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, and then rook takes, and white is up a pawn. Um, going into the end game, computer has white actually winning here at 4.1, so um, so if, if, if any of you guys were curious as to what that line was. But uh, going back here, you know, when the knight d7 and falls for the fork nothing to take away from Robert I mean apps Robert played lights out uh, just some context here for you guys so Hikaru crushes it at the Grand Prix right flies home he is jet lagged check this out this is how crazy he is I swear he's like proof there are aliens he streams uh, Sunday morning this took place on Sunday and um, usually he comes like at a certain time but he texts me it's like he's running a little bit late and that's totally fine like comes an hour later and he was like playing in a tournament when he was streaming right so he comes an hour later plays for three freaking hours and just balls out like this that does not make sense man how can you be jet lagged play a ton of chess early in the morning in a tournament and come and just do this like with the physical hand speed and calculation does not make sense guys wow just another example of just how high of a level Hikaru is oof, in all aspects of this game so going back here I mean, maybe it's something like knight c4, and this could be one continuation, and black is winning here at negative 2.3, but <sighs> just insane, man. And let's figure out how Robert could have put the game away. So we get to this position, bishop e6, rook g5 check. Let's go move back, pause video. What would be another move for white here? Put this game away as white. It's not a forced mate, but it's a, it's a big advantage for white. All right, yes, I'm sure a lot of you saw the first move, right? Rook g7 check, only move king h8, and now what do you play as white? And keep in mind, for those of you who have been fans of the channel a long time, what do I say are the hardest moves to see? Do you guys see it? Pause the video, see if you find it. Yes, quiet moves are the hardest to see. Lateral moves and quiet moves are the hardest to see. What is the quiet move here for white? Yes, rook f4. Is it, is it just attacking this puny pawn? Oh, well, let me show you what white has up its sleeve. I'm going to make a dumb move for black. You're going to have bishop here, and the idea is to clear this file for the mate. Ooh, so what are you going to do? This is force mate. Move, 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 and mate. Wow. So going back here, you have to you have to challenge this rook. It's way too powerful, cutting off the king. So rook g8, and this could be one continuation. Uh, take the pawn, attack the bishop. 
or I'm sorry, attack the rook, rook takes, rook takes. Going over here, setting up the mate, bishop h7, activate the king, and white is winning here at plus 6.4. You know, he's got to grind for the win, but but the win is there for, for white. A bit more simplified going into the um, more simple endgame. So, wow, that is how Robert could have uh, maybe... Um, you know, close the game out that way, but alas, we get to this position, and yeah, it just uh, interfered with the protection and something like king d3, but uh, I think we can all understand Robert's uh, situation. They're so close to glory, right? So close, he can taste it and just, mm, such is human psychology, but wow. Hakaro just balled out in this game. Robert played great in this game and just gave us a thriller for the ages. Beautifully done to both players. Such an amazing thing to witness, man. Wow. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought again in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That bump kitchen. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.